All right, so you should now have the base template in the main index page complete. Uh, in this video, we're going to do some of the inner pages. I'm not exactly sure which ones we'll actually get to in the amount of time, but um, we're going to start with the members page. Okay, so if we open the Dobble directory or folder, we're going to create a text document and call it members.html. Okay, and whoops, HTML. And we're going to go ahead and open that in a browser and your text editor. Okay, uh, actually, I'm also going to open index because we're basically going to use the, the base template from this page. So let's copy everything and paste it in members. And I'm also going to open up this style sheet. Okay, so the top, um, basically same thing. We can go ahead and add the page title here. Just say members. And header is gonna be the same. Navigation is gonna be the same. We have a section, container, row, uh, eight columns. So let's see, after, after this uh, call MD8 class, we want to get we want to get rid of everything in there. So it ends way down here, I believe. Yeah, it ends right here. Okay, we marked it. So I'm going to get rid of everything in there. Okay, so right about here. All right, and then for the sidebar, uh, it's going to remain the same for all pages, so it'll just have the friends and groups. Okay, so we're just working with the main area. And um, one thing I want to do is just surround everything in its own div. Okay, so this is going to be called members, class called members. And then inside there we want our heading, and this will be an H1, and uh, I'm going to give it a class of page header, which is a bootstrap class, kind of emphasizes the heading a little bit, and it's going to say members. Okay, now under that, we're going to create a row. Okay, so basically we're going to have... Um, I believe we're going to have four three column divs. If we take a look at the finish template, which I don't have open. Um, where is it? I think it's in here. Okay, so we're going to have uh, four divs here. We're going to have one for the image and one for each link or button. Okay, so they'll have to be three columns, obviously, because three times four is 12. And it has to have a total of 12. So div class, I'm going to say row. And I'm also going to just add a class called member row. And then we'll need to make our columns. So we want C-O-L-M-D uh, 3. All right, and we want that th uh, three more times. So I'll just copy it. And then the first one is going to be the image. So we need an image tag. And the image is in the IMG folder and it's user.png and we'll also give it a class a bootstrap class of image thumbnail and that's going to make it smaller that's going to give it a border and some padding all right and then underneath it i'm going to create a div with a bootstrap class text center because we're going to put the username here and we want it centered 
see, sum user zero one. All right, so we can take a look at that. <coughs> All right, so there's our member. In the next column, we're going to have a friend request button or link. And I'm going to put this in a paragraph tag. So it's going to be an A tag. And let me see, we're going to have a couple classes, bootstrap classes, BTN. And I want it to be green, so we're going to do the BTN success and also we're going to use btn block because I want it to take up the whole space um, and I want to display it as a block okay and then the text for the button will be friend request alright now I want to use uh, an icon here as well. Um, we have font awesome linked, so we can use that. So basically, we can just put an i tag right here and give it a class. Okay, when you're using font awesome classes, you need to do fa and then the icon, which will will do fa users, and then just close that off. Okay, so you can see we now have a little icon. Okay, and the next one is going to be the send message button. So I'm actually just going to copy this. Okay, so uh, we're going to change button success to button default, which will make it white. Uh, and then the icon, let's change the users to envelope and then change the text to send message okay so there's our message button lastly we need a view view profile button so I'm going to paste this in and let's see for the the button color uh, we're going to change this to primary and then for the icon we're going to use uh, FA edit and that'll give us like a, a pencil icon alright so there we go now I'm going to want to move these buttons down but first let's just make the, the rest of the the members which will basically be the same thing so we just got to copy uh, from here to here and I'm just gonna change these usernames just change it to two three and four All right, so there's our list of users or members. Um, so now for the CSS. So we're gonna style the member row. So we want members, member row, and we're gonna give it a border bottom. One pixel solid gray and so let's see we want a padding on the bottom push it down a little of 20 pixels and then also a margin of 20 margin bottom okay so that should push them down a little bit make it look a little better all right yeah okay um, as far as the image, um, I want the username pushed down a little bit, so let's just give a little bit of margin to the image. So members image, and we'll just give it five pixels.
there we go and I just want to push these buttons down a little bit um, actually you know what I only want to push them down when we're using we're, when we're at this big screen if we make it smaller you can see the responsive the mobile version um, I want the buttons to stay like this okay because that looks really good and uh, it wouldn't look good if they were push down 40 pixels so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna write a media query down here so actually to to show you what I mean let's just do it like this we'll say members and remember we have the the buttons are in a P in the P tag so we'll say margin actually we'll do padding padding top 40 pixels and if it looks all right the, when it's in the mobile version we'll keep it but I don't think it's going to yeah see we have too much space here now so I'm just gonna surround it in a simple media query oops okay so we're gonna say max width uh, actually we need min width min width min width is gonna be 991 okay so that should do it so now if we're in the mobile version we have our buttons are back to normal and then if we get past 991 they're they're pushed down um, I'm not sure why you can only see why this is cut cut off right here um, hmm that's really weird I guess it's just because of the width um, well let's try and change the text okay so if we change if we replace uh, friend request let's replace it with add friend all right yeah that's better so we just need to change the text in order for it to fit here and look good all right so I think that's the that's the whole members page uh, yeah so we have some time in the video so let's move on to the groups page which is also really simple so let's create a new a new uh, text document and we're gonna call this one groups .html. and we'll open that with sublime and I'm just gonna grab everything that's in the members page and paste it here alright and then we'll go ahead and change the title And then down here, um, inside this uh, this eight column div, I just want to get rid of everything inside of it. Where is it? Right here. All right. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to create a div right here. And we'll call it groups. All right, and then in groups, we're going to have the page header. Okay, and that, whoops, what did I do? I don't want to do that. okay so click on groups and what we're going to do is just again we're going to have a, a list of divs for each group so under the h1 uh, let's create a div with the class of group item and 
and um, I'll just do this one and then I'll just copy them and paste them in. Uh, so the first thing is going to be the image. Okay, and that's going to be in the IMG folder and it's called group dot p um, group dot png alright and then we're gonna have an h4 